Hello everybody, this is Mon PJC, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. In our last episode, if you missed it, we built this fantastic steampunk airship. But today, we're going back over to the castle area. Oh, get a little bit of lag here. Come on, computer, catch up again. It's the server, the connection. We're going to be having a bit of work in the castle, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to go there just in a minute. But first, just a quick overview of some of the preparations that are going on on the outside of the castle. This is what's called the inner ward area so this would be part of the castle area you can see it's raining over this side and i've been landscaping i've been cutting down huge great big hills i guess is what you would call them and we're clearing the land we've built this wall around the outside now so that we can keep our uh, peasants out i guess is the way to put it because we've got that nice big wall and there's going to be a market area and there's going to be uh, lodges and stables and iron works and all that sort of thing but as i said we're going to go back inside the castle today uh, in the previous video in episode 24 if you've seen it we built the barracks area for our soldiers to stay and today we're going to be finding them somewhere to eat yes food's important so here i am back in the little workshop we've got uh, hello to everyone there and I'd also like to actually say hello to all the new subscribers that are out there. It's really nice to have you on board and uh, join my channel. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, it's the first time you come here, please hit the subscribe button. There's also a little bell thing, isn't there, Dave? Yeah, Dave. This is Dave. Hi. Um, he doesn't say much. He just stands guard. Dave. Did you move? I think he moved. I'm watching you um yeah if you're going to subscribe hit the uh, subscribe button it should have appeared down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen or you can hit it under my channel and you can also remember to hit the little bell because otherwise youtube doesn't tell you when my videos go up and of course you don't want to miss great content like this where i'm walking around in an empty room uh the other thing you can do is hit the like button because obviously you all like me don't you come on hit the like button i'll pause momentarily while you hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell thank you now we return to our main program so this is our area where we're going to be building our little restauranty area uh i think it's called an off no not an officer's mess but i think it's called the mess room so down here we have dave who's guarding the uh, little barracks and sleeping area, which you may have remembered. Uh, I'm also going to pop in a few more people like this, like Dave, into this area. And I'm going to show you how to do the old, old armor stand tricks with the arms and stuff. But around the back here, this is where they're going to walk around out of their room. They're going to come in here. They're going to have something to eat. And then we're going to block this end off with some doors so that we've got this nice little pathway through here for our people to go just straight upstairs. So I'm going to be making some tables out of pistons. I know, you're surprised, aren't you? That's not what you were expecting. Nope, well, you better hang around and I'm going to show you how to do it then. So I've started off by crafting a few pistons here. and I'm just going to show you how I'm going to use these. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just work out the positioning. So along this side, we're going to have short tables, and then I'm going to have a long table down the middle here. So over here, we're going to put some chairs like that. And then I'm probably going to have the table over the top there like that. And then we're going to have a row of chairs there, like so. So what we then do is we then knock out these three blocks like so which are now, oh, they just got lost down in the hoppers. That'd be quite useful. So then I'm going to take three blocks of redstone and place them below. I said below. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's just pick that up. Like so. And then I take my pistons and I position them to three, like so. And there you go. That is a very simple little bar. And that could be used in, I don't know, somewhere like a, 
a, like a pub or a restaurant or something but this is going to be how we're going to do our little mess area I might leave a row of chair a gap here and then put another row of chairs like that along there so I'm going to fill out that area along that side so this will be these tables there's room for free to get in there and of course these all stay powered up and because they've got this surface on here we'll be able to put other objects on top so I'll be able to put like a plate uh, or with some food on or a drink or something like that and then what we're going to do is then make a row all the way down here a long table down the center and then maybe at this end build a little kitchen area so I'm going to deck out the rest of these tables and show you what happens next so here we go there's a little bit more of all these tables in place uh, it's going to stand on this one here so we've got one two three four along there and another booth over this area which I think is quite nice this could be sort of more comfy chairs I guess that's the way they look all those tables in place and then we have this big long table here for our soldiers to sit at and you can see it's been pushed up against the wall here so they've sort of got a snug in down the back here uh, I looked at the back of this and I thought oh, it doesn't really look much like a chair need to back to it so I've got these oak trap doors and what you can do is just place them on the floor like that there we go and that now looks a bit more like an actual seating area it looks like somewhere you can sort of like sneak in and sit down so what I'm going to do is finish that off there and then I'm going to build a kitchen on the end here which is what I think I just said in my last clip of the video I know what I'm doing I'm a professional it still looks very bare so we're definitely gonna to have to do some decoration but getting the main body of the materials in here is really good so I'm beginning I really like this I like the wooden texture I like the little um, iron bits that are on the corners there it just really breaks the table up and makes it look more interesting that's really cool so the next thing I wanted to show you was how to make the armor stands come to life and look like they're real like this one here with Dave so what we do is we need a few extras you wouldn't normally get in the game so but first of all what we need is an armor stand so I'm just going to make one of those and the armor stand is going to be positioned where we want it so that it looks like our character now down here in the basement I have this command block already set up and that's because in this and I can't open the command at the moment in this there is a command that gives me a book and there you go as statue is enabled so this book is from a data pack that you can get from Exuma so you go to exumavoid.com and this allows you to be able to create armor stands and be able to move their position etc as to where they're going so this first one i want to do what i want to do is i actually want to make it look like he's in bed but obviously i can't put the armor stand in the bed there like that so we're just going to put it on the ground here and then the first thing we'll do is dress it with our leather outfit like so and we're going to put a head on it there we go now doesn't look an awful lot like Dave out there because he's got arms and he's got positions of his head and this is very wooden a bit like these ones here so what we do is we stand next to him and we click on the book like this oh what happened there that's not right uh obviously don't click on the armor stand oh dear oh no i think my data pack is broken so for whatever reason having two copies of this book in the world does not work so there we go so we can do check target oh no i've got the wrong one so you can actually yeah, i'll highlight the one that you actually want to work with so let's stand here Oh, I'm going to have a bit of trouble with you, aren't I? There we go. So we've got the target. So I'm now going to use this book. And within it, we can then actually change some of these things. So we can turn the base plate off. 
There it goes, disappears at the bottom. We can do put arms on. There we go. We can then do a small stand so we can make him look tiny. We can put gravity. We can make the stand itself invisible. We can give him a name. He's now called Armor Stand. So we can turn that off. There we go. And then within here, you can then adjust his position. So we can sort of like turn him by 45 degrees, like so. Or you can just nudge him five degrees so he can adjust how he actually looks. Now, the other nice thing that's actually in here is we've got these positions that are already programmed, which will set the thing. So if we go with lazing, there we go. So he now is in this sort of lazy position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to nudge him back and get him so he's sitting against the wall over here. So I'm gonna play around doing that because that's gonna take a, a few tweaks and twiddles and we'll have a look, see what it looks like in a second. Top tip for anyone using this, um, turn gravity off because when you try to lower him and the armor stand goes through the ground, it fell through the floor and is all the way down here now. You stupid thing. I've got to start again now. Oh. So here he is in his final position. There's our little army guy here. So uh, sitting at the back of the bed. I've just nudged him up so he's up against the wall. Had to push him down into the bed a little bit because his head's pressing against there. But he's got a book in his hand. Yeah, he's sort of just sitting there with his legs kicked out over the side of the bed. Dave's outside keeping an eye on him. And he's just probably like writing a letter home to his family and stuff. So I think that looks pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a load more of these in uh, the dining area. Wow, look at this. This is looking pretty cool now. So I've decorated it up, obviously by putting lots of banners around the outside. Very important to keep that going in this area. The thing you probably notice straight away is also the pictures, the, uh, the torches have got frames around them to make them stand out a bit more. But the dining area as well has actually actually got these item frames to use as plates and plant pots to use as mugs. And down this side, we've put some different things like sugar cane. We've got beef in there. I think there's some chicken over there in these ones. These ones are better laid out. I'll put a jukebox in here as well. So we can get some music going as well. And round the edge here, I found this little trick that you can do. Let's turn that off. That's an, an, an awful song. It's terrible. Um, by putting steps around the edge, you actually create this line and it actually creates a break in the line around the ceiling just to make it look a little bit more different. And you can see I've brought that edge around here as well. And then down the center, I wanted some lighting, but obviously torches hanging down here. By the time they come down a couple of levels, be hitting your head on them. So I brought these glowstones in and they're a bit like strip lighting or medieval steampunk strip lighting i guess and just to make them look a little bit different i put this item frame because item frames can now be put on the underside of a block as well and put another glowstone inside the block as well so it just makes them look like hanging lights now they'd be gas powered little lamps or something like that i guess that looks pretty cool and then down the end here in our kitchen area, we've got this uh, workbench area. Again, using steps just to break it up so it's not quite so blocky. And we've got our little walkway area here so we can pop inside. We've got some plates of food ready on the way here. We've got our cutting board for cutting the meat up for our customers. Thank you very much. And then we've got this handle switch here or lever, shall I say, which we could use for like filling our drinks up, filling water up, because we're not going to get any more than that. We've got our, our hot plate here over this area. We've got our double stove in the back. We've got some cupboards up the top here. And we've even got a few herbs available on our shelves here as well. That's looking good. I don't know whether I like that up there. I think I might actually lower it. 
because normally with a counter you'd have it a bit lower like that yeah I think that looks better yeah that looks pretty good like that and what I did on the outside which I'll be exploring a bit more at some point is I've actually put a chimney on the back I've made that out of cobblestone fence so that it goes all the way up to the top and we'll put some when we get the next update and we can actually have smoke etc then we'll actually have that coming out the top so the last thing I want to do is I want to go and make a copy of our guy that's sitting in the other room writing on his book and I want to put some guys in this room so it actually looks like it's populated with some people I'd love to try and get someone in here I wonder if I could get a villager in there that would stand still and he could actually look like he's serving them hmm bit more complicated right let's get these people in the room and see what they look like so this is our armor stand people now added into the canting area you see it's not the busiest today so I might add some more in as I go along so this guy I've sort of sat in the corner he's sitting there with his drink he's got his empty plate he's sitting there nice and comfy you see his legs are under the table I think that looks really good sat there you sort of like staring down the table, down the room at these two guys uh, who are obviously in a, in a quite a serious bit of a debate here. They've had their lunch and this guy's looking very animated with his arms flung out there. This guy's looking very relaxed. He's sort of chilled, looking over at his mate, sort of head down. He's obviously getting a hard time from this guy. He's probably sitting there thinking, Oh my God, all my friends have gone. His arms sort of let just there holding himself up on the side there. He's probably thinking to himself, Oh my God, all my friends have gone. Everyone's had their dinner and gone and I'm stuck with this guy still waffling on about the war and what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. And, oh my God, will he just shut up? And a lot could be said the same for me at the moment, to be honest, as well. So I'm going to hop in here because I'm just going to be like the chef for now in this little corner. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and my head's changed. You may have noticed. Yes, I decided I would look like our fellow little villagers. Now let's take that back off. <laughs> I can't be doing that. I can't be looking like them. That just looks so ridiculous with that head on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really had some great fun making this room. I think it looks really fantastic. I love the food and the layout and the decoration and stuff. And I'm going to bring some other characters in here as well. And when we get villagers walking around in here, it's going to look fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe as well. When we get to 100 subscribers, if you've watched the video this far, there's going to be some special surprises and maybe even a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.